This egg weighs less than half an ounce. The bird that laid it fits in your hand. But in a single facility, 90,000 of these birds produce 70,000 eggs every single day. And when you understand how they do it, you realize this might be the most efficient food production system on Earth. One tiny bird. Two products. A process most people never see. The Japanese quail. Coturnix japonica. Domesticated in Japan in 1595. Now farmed across three continents. The fastest growing food animal in commercial production. Six weeks from hatch to first egg. Eight weeks to processing weight. No chicken, duck or turkey comes close. This speed makes everything possible. A quail chick weighs 10 grams at hatch, barely larger than the end of your thumb. In 42 days, that same bird will be laying eggs daily. This is not luck. This is selective breeding refined over centuries. Inside climate-controlled incubators, thousands of fertilized eggs sit at 37.5 degrees Celsius for 17 days. Humidity held at 60%. The embryos develop in precise conditions. First organs form, then limbs, then feathers. On day 17, the shells start cracking from inside. The chicks have a small projection on their beaks called an egg tooth. They use it to break through. First, a tiny hole, rest. Then more cracks, more resting. The process takes hours. Slowly, the opening widens until the chick pushes free, wet and exhausted. These newly hatched chicks move immediately to brooder boxes with heat lamps. They cannot regulate their own temperature yet. Any drop could be fatal. For three weeks, they stay here, learning to eat and drink while growing rapidly. Under the warmth Ana the Rodriguez lamps, manages a quail operation Bobway outside quail Valencia, Spain. Lines. She oversees 20,000 birds in egg production and processes another 10,000 for meat annually. She has been refining this system for eight years. Every morning at five, Anna walks through the brooder rooms, checking temperatures, watching for signs of disease. With quail, problems escalate fast. The young birds are fragile, despite their rapid growth. A malfunction caught early saves hundreds of birds. By six weeks, separation happens. Workers examine each bird. Females move to laying cages. Males go to grow-out facilities. This decision point determines each bird's path. Hens produce eggs for about one year. Males grow for meat production. Both paths are essential to the economics. The laying facility is where peak efficiency happens. Rows of H-type battery cages stacked six tiers high. Each cage holds 15 to 20 hens. Automated feeding systems deliver high protein feed three times daily. Nipple drinkers provide constant fresh water. The environment stays climate controlled year round. 16 hours of light per day stimulate egg production. Temperature maintained between 18 and 22 degrees Celsius. These conditions are not random. They are calibrated for maximum output while keeping birds healthy enough to maintain production. The hens start laying around 42 days of age. One egg approximately every 26 hours. Over a year, a single hen produces 270 to 300 eggs. That is 20 times her body weight in eggs. The output per bird is remarkable. Each egg has a unique pattern. Brown background with darker spots and speckles. No two eggs look identical. In the wild, these markings provided camouflage for ground nests. In commercial production, the pattern is just genetic legacy. But it makes the eggs visually distinctive in markets. The cage floors angle slightly forward. When a hen lays an egg, it rolls gently onto a collection belt running along the front of each tier. These belts move continuously, transporting eggs toward the processing area. The system collects 70,000 eggs daily, with damage rates below 0.1%.
Anna checks these belts multiple times per shift. A jam causes eggs to pile and crack. A belt running too fast causes collisions. The system works only when everything is calibrated correctly. After eight years, she can diagnose problems by sound alone. A clicking means a bearing needs grease. A scraping means debris under the belt. The eggs move into processing, where they split into two streams. Fresh eggs and cooked eggs. Different markets demand different products. Fresh eggs go through inspection first. Workers examine each one under bright light, checking for cracks or defects. Damaged eggs get removed. Clean eggs continue to washing. A specialized machine sprays sanitizing solution, rinses, then dries them. The goal is thorough cleaning without removing the protective coating that preserves freshness. After washing, automated grading begins. Weight determines price. Most quail eggs weigh 9 to 12 grams. Smaller eggs go to budget markets. Larger ones command premium pricing. The system weighs and sorts, directing each egg to appropriate packaging. Fresh packaged eggs have about 14 days of shelf life when refrigerated. They ship to supermarkets, speciality stores and restaurants across Europe. Retail price in the UK runs around £1.49 for a box of 12. Spain exports millions of quail eggs annually and demand keeps growing. The cooked egg stream handles roughly 30% of daily production. These eggs go directly to boiling tanks. They submerge in hot water for specific durations, depending on desired doneness. Most get cooked fully for use as ready-to-eat products. After boiling, the eggs move through rapid cooling. Cold water baths bring internal temperature down quickly, making peeling easier and stopping the cooking process. Then comes the challenge of removing shells. Quail eggshells are thin but surprisingly tough. Manual peeling would be impossibly slow. Automated peeling machines use rotating sponges and water jets to crack and remove shells. The machines handle 200 kilograms per hour with minimal damage. Not every egg comes out perfect. Some need hand finishing, but the automation makes large-scale production viable. Peeled eggs get inspected, sorted and packaged. Some go into jars with brine for longer preservation. Others vacuum seal fresh for short-term distribution. Preserved eggs can last 14 days. They sell primarily to food service operations and processed food manufacturers. While egg production drives the facility, it represents only part of the operation. The males that never entered laying cages and the hens whose production eventually declines both move to meat processing. This is where the dual purpose model completes. Carlos Santos manages the processing operation. 12 years in this industry. He started with chicken processing at a larger facility before switching to quail. The smaller scale suits his management style better, more control more consistency. Processing days start at 6 in the morning. A team of four trained workers handles the entire operation. The birds arrive in transport crates, caught carefully by hand to avoid stress or injury. Bruised birds produce lower quality meat. Careful handling matters right up to the end. The facility uses electric stunning. Birds receive a controlled current that renders them unconscious instantly. This method is considered humane, quick, consistent. From unconscious to fully processed takes approximately five minutes per bird. The process moves through defined stages. Bleeding, scalding to loosen feathers, mechanical plucking removes most feathers quickly. Hand finishing gets what the machines miss. Evisceration removes internal organs. Heart, liver and gizzard get saved for sale as giblets in some markets. The rest becomes byproduct used in other industries. Dressed birds weigh between 125 and 160 grams. 
Some facilities raise jumbo caternics specifically for meat. Those birds can reach 400 grams. But standard caternics dominate because they mature faster and require less feed per unit of meat. Carlos's team processes 500 birds in a typical morning shift. That represents 2,500 minutes of work compressed into four hours through parallel processing. Four people working simultaneously. Organized workflow, minimal wasted motion. Processed birds get chilled immediately in cold water tanks. Rapid cooling improves food safety and texture. After chilling, they move to packaging. Most sell in packs of two or four birds. Some get deboned and stuffed for premium products. Stuffed quail with various fillings command higher prices in specialty markets. Fresh quail meat has a shelf life of 8 to 12 days refrigerated. Birds processed in the morning ship to distributors by afternoon. Within three days, they reach restaurant kitchens or retail counters. The meat has distinctive characteristics. All dark meat. Flavor profile sits between chicken and duck. Gamey without being overpowering. Not greasy like duck can be. Cooks quickly because of small size. 15 minutes in an oven. 5 minutes on a grill press. Most recipes call for two birds per person as a main course. Each bird yields about 60 to 85 grams of meat. The portion size is small, but the flavor is concentrated. Quail meat markets as premium protein. The retail audience is smaller than chicken, but profit margins can be better for producers who control costs. Beyond just taste, the nutrition profile helps justify premium pricing. Quail meat is lean and protein dense. The eggs are even more impressive nutritionally. Despite being five times smaller than chicken eggs, they contain double the iron, three times more vitamin B1 and higher levels of phosphorus and calcium. 2% more protein by weight than chicken eggs. These nutritional advantages, combined with the aesthetic appeal of the spotted shells, make quail eggs increasingly popular. They photograph well, they look elegant plated, restaurants use them as garnishes and appetizers. Home cooks discover them through cooking shows and food media. The economics work because of speed and efficiency. Six weeks to laying, eight weeks to processing. 42 days from hatch to first egg. Compare that to chickens. 18 to 20 weeks before laying starts. 16 weeks to reach processing weight. Quail produce food nearly three times faster. Space requirements favor quail as well. Anna's facility occupies about one-third the footprint a chicken operation of equivalent output would need. Smaller building, lower climate control costs. Less feed per bird. These advantages accumulate. Labor per unit of output stays low due to automation. The egg collection belts, the automated feeding and watering systems, the climate control, all these systems reduce manual work. 18 full-time employees manage 90,000 birds and daily processing of tens of thousands of eggs and hundreds of meat birds. But the system requires constant attention. Equipment maintenance cannot slip. Disease monitoring must be vigilant. Feed quality cannot vary. Small problems in intensive operations become large problems quickly. Anna's experience shows in how smoothly things run. After eight years, she knows where to look for issues before they become crises. The facility produces minimal waste. Manure from 90,000 birds gets processed into fertilizer and sold to local agricultural operations. Eggshells from the cooked egg operation get ground into calcium powder for animal feed supplements. Even the byproducts from meat processing go to rendering facilities that convert them into products for other industries. Nothing gets discarded without extracting value first. This efficiency extends beyond just economics. Using agricultural waste streams creates environmental benefits. 
turning manure into fertilizer prevents waste buildup. Converting byproducts into useful materials reduces landfill burden. The system closes loops wherever possible. Anna walks through the facility at the end of her shift. The laying cages hum with activity. Eggs rolling onto collection belts. Birds eating and drinking. The automated systems running smoothly. 70,000 eggs were collected today. Tomorrow will be similar. The rhythm continues day after day. Carlos finishes cleaning the processing area. Tomorrow is not a processing day. Those happen three times weekly. Tomorrow he focuses on maintenance, sharpening blades, checking equipment, preparing for the next processing cycle. The work varies, but the goal stays constant. Safe, efficient, consistent production. The quail industry operates mostly unseen. Most consumers never think about where these tiny spotted Chef eggs come from or how the small game birds production. reach restaurant menus. I hope it tastes the scale good. surprises people. Thousands of facilities worldwide, millions of birds, billions of eggs annually. The efficiency of quail farming makes it viable in ways larger poultry sometimes cannot match. Smaller space needs mean urban and suburban operations are possible. Faster growth cycles mean quicker return on investment. Lower feed costs mean better margins in volatile markets. The system works because every element connects. Fast growing birds, automated collection, dual purpose economics where both eggs and meat generate revenue, efficient use of space and resources, markets that value both products. One bird weighing less than half a pound, producing an egg weighing less than half an ounce. Repeated at scales measured in tens of thousands daily. This is how modern food production operates. Precision. Efficiency. Systems refined over decades to maximize output while maintaining quality. The smallest domesticated bird commercially farmed. The fastest food production cycle. An industry that grew from nothing to global scale in less than a century. And most people have no idea it exists until they see those distinctive spotted eggs in a market or order quail at a restaurant. 70,000 eggs today, 70,000 tomorrow. The tiny birds in their cages continuing the cycle. The system humming along. Efficient. Productive invisible to most of the people it feeds.